Okay, this is Rubicon here. At, uh, I have a question. Everyone's asking questions these days and doing tactical reports and things of that nature. I have two questions. In this example here, uh, I have some orcs that have charged unit of Empire Knights and with combat resolution, reroll, whatever. The knights actually wind up in this example. This isn't my question, but it's leading to it. In this case, the knights are going to be beaten in combat. They're going to roll. Uh, they're not going to roll far enough to get away from the orcs. Let's just say the orcs roll enough to cover this distance into these empire spearmen. So the beginning of my question is, on this overrun, I overrun straight, and I'm going to hit these guys. Now that's a horrendous clip, and my understanding, I've seen this played both ways. One, I've seen that the clip is, uh, that's it, that's all you can do. Um, other people, after you get into combat, um, however you get into combat, that uh, after you make contact, then you slide. That's my question. Do you slide to maximize the amount of models in the, uh, in the unit of orcs so that as many of them that can fight are in the fight so that the combat would end up like this? Or is that something that happens in your movement phase, either yours or the Empire's, to be able then to slide down like that? Um, the fellows that I play with uh, pretty much do this, do this uh, overrun, hit, and then once they hit, we don't leave it that way. We slide down to maximize uh, the most models in contact from the unit that, uh, that was moving so that it would end up like this. So that's part one of my question. Um, not sure which way is the right way to do that. Like I said, we hit and slide and, uh, and take care of it that way. Part two of my question is, if, if anybody knows the answer to this, I have to reach over and get some, uh, some fanatics. Next part of the question is, uh, say we have some fanatics here, like this, and uh, we, we do this battle, this happens. Um, let's say it's my turn again, and on my turn as the orc player, I'm going to do some compulsory movement, and let's say I roll the dice here, and this fanatic goes ahead, rolls the arrow, hits this unit, I guess it would pop out the other side. Um, let's say this fanatic also comes through here, it doesn't really matter. My point is, if the fanatics specifically hit this unit while it's engaged with this unit, do the hits from the fanatics need to be randomized between both units, or do the fanatics because they legitimately rolled the arrow and actually hit this unit does that necessarily mean that that all hits are going against that unit even though they're in combat with the orcs i haven't been able to find anything but uh... tom i know you play enough tournaments to uh... maybe this has happened before and, and maybe you have an answer for me but check the faq for the orc and goblin book and uh... don't see anything there um, i see things for template weapons like rock lobbers, um, mortars, things like that that drift onto combat that there is rules for, but I haven't been able to see um, how you handle that. I, I guess, you know, the rules specifically say things hit what they hit, and um, I think with these fanatics in uh, that battle report, that first battle report where uh, my friend was uh, lucky enough to have his fanatics zip through my lines back and forth a couple times, reducing uh, many dark elves to a bloody pulp. I'm not sure if that was the right way to do it, but barring anything else, I think uh, the standard rule is you know, these things are going to hit what they hit, despite the fact that they're in combat with this. But again, those are my two questions, so I'm hoping that somebody has an answer, and to be honest, I'm looking for uh, Tom to send me a message back and let me know, or perhaps even put this on his tactical uh, videos that he's been showing. That's uh, TMA Richards on his YouTube channel. Those are my questions. Uh, get back to me, please. And uh, that's it. Thanks for your help.